Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, a General Hospital fan podcast. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the January 13th through 17th recap of General Hospital, where we share all of our thoughts about what happened this past week. And my cat's being really annoying right now. <laughs> I love her. You're not being annoying. You are just being a cat. She wants involved. And she does. I'm trying really, not, really hard not to laugh at you as you're trying to get her to stop before anyone can hear her. So if you hear random scratching, random, I mean, obviously a meow is a cat, but... <laughs> You never know with us. I know. We like to do sound effects. That is true. So where do you want to get started this week? It was a long week. It, it felt was. Like. Storylines, not that they didn't give a lot of good information, but they kind of dragged. It took a long time to get us there. See, I didn't watch until Wednesday night. Okay. So I got to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, obviously, all in one day. And then I think I watched Thursday, Friday morning, and then Friday, Friday night. Okay. So I had them very close together, but I know what you mean because it was, there was a lot of information. They kept flipping back and forth. You would just get into one storyline and then they'd pull out and go to a different place. And you're like, wait, 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 back up. I still am processing what just happened back here. That means that it's good. Very true. Yes. It was not a disappointing week. So no, it's good. Not at all. My first note was Brooklyn Q Y. And I know the obvious answer is that whole contract stuff, but at the same time, really? It made sense though when I actually, it's the first thing I wrote about that was, oh, Brooklyn changed her name. Heart makes so much sense because Ned changed her name or his name. Yeah. So it makes sense for her to change hers because if she doesn't have, she was never close with her grandfather, Lord Ashton, but she did know Edward, but she was raised by Lois. So if she was going to choose right. a different last name, I would think it would be Cirillo. That is true. At this point, it feels like you're going for quarter main. I wonder if Lois ever got remarried, though. Maybe Lois isn't Lois Cirillo anymore. I feel like we would know that. I don't know. Maybe she needs to come back and tell us. That and would be amazing. Rena Soper. Oh, please. That would be so good. Please. Please. We're bringing back all kinds of people, and you're one that we want. Yes. Badly. But assuming that she's not going to come back and tell us. I still feel like that's something we would know. I feel like Brooklyn, Brooklyn would, have said, would something have said by now, yeah. Or even Ned. Lois is the love of his life. I feel like there would have been some feelings there if she had remarried. He did. Yeah, but guys are different. Guys are very good at not wanting you to move on, even if they've moved Correct. on. Correct. That is so very true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I feel like as we both. No. Mm, very well. Like the random X text after I got engaged. Nice. And I'm like, uh, bye. Yeah. You know, no, it's been some time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been a couple of years. My ex is remarried and he still likes to give his input if he finds out that I'm talking to someone new. Or like I had my ex text me, I think last year, probably about this time. Oh, I'm hanging out here. Blah, 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 blah. I can't, I remember when we used to like the bunch of us used to all hang out here. Because he was, I guess, apparently now a part-time DJ at, and he was basically at, like, one of our local yeah, bars. Yeah. And he's like, I just remember when we used to hang out here. First of all, it was my hangout with my friends that <laughs> you came it to. Ours. <laughs> it was not our place. <laughs> it's the place where my friends and I went. When you and I were dating, you would come. Yes. You're lucky Guess I invited what? you. <laughs> I still went there after we stopped. And I went there and long before... And I didn't text you when I went there after we right. stopped. Because guess what? <laughs> I, and here's the thing. If I remember things from when we were dating, I talked to my husband about them. Ah, there you go. I mean, I, not often, but, right. you know, I mean, there's been things where I'm like, oh, yeah, I went there with so-and-so. Yes. You know, but it's not. Because you're in a trusting, committed relationship and you can share past experiences without it threatening that relationship. And I was like, I'm married. And he said, so am I. I'm like, then oh text your wife. Then talk to your wife about it. Or even one of your mutual friends. Oh, I remember when we had a great time here. You don't text the person you were with. That's just weird. But no. It, it, I mean, it's not like it was a year or so ago. I mean, we've been together for 10 years. Yeah. 
at that time we had been together only for nine, you know, but only. Yeah. It's been some time. Yeah. He it was wasn't not a fresh nice breakup. He was a, ugh. He was mean. It wasn't. See? Yeah. So again, Ned would know and he would have some feelings. He was never a Ned. He was never a Ned. He never, ever. He would have been more like a keeper. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a swell so, guy. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Yes. You should make that a game. Like, make all of your exes <laughs> general hospital character. Nice. Who is who? Anyway, I feel like Ned would know if she was married. So True. Brooklyn would have gone to Sorello, in my opinion. Unless she's not getting along with her right now. True, but Cormay just feels like you're going after money and the prestigious name. Which I know in some ways she is. She doesn't feel that obvious to me, though. No, and I did write down, I said... She actually had a great idea because she was trying to solve her own problem. Yes. Okay, maybe hadn't really thought about the fact that it's really not going to matter. That is still a legally binding document. But she did think about it as... At least she did something. Yeah, you know, you told me to handle it myself. I'm handling it. And so I did. There we go. You know, she could have just been like Phoebe and did... She (laughs) changed her name to Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. On Friends, when she found out when she I got married. I 100% knew you were talking about <laughs> Friends, but I do not know. When she found out that she could, after she got married, that she could change her name to anything. Oh. She changed it to Princess Consuela Banana Hammock. Okay. Yep. Very creative. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> at least she didn't do that. True. Oh, I was kind of bummed we didn't hear her sing. Yeah. They interrupted way too quick with that. Yeah. It would have been, I don't know, I feel like she should have had one song and then have him stand up in the front and give a standing ovation and do, like, the staring eyes. Yes. Yeah. And then have that her take been a better. break and have him follow her back there. Mm-hmm. Even just if they didn't want to be that dramatic, although I like where you're going with that, have her mid-song and him walk in and her stop short. Yes. And, oh, no, he's here. He's going to yell at me. This is not good. Yeah. What is he doing here? Or to say into the mic, what are you doing here? Completely caught off guard. Right, right. Anything instead of where we were left. Because she could sing back in the day. So I'm assuming the new actress can sing. I would assume, given how much we're talking about her recording contract. Yes. That they casted someone who can sing. Right. And hopefully sings to the caliber that we are expecting. Yes. I think that I was dead right on it's going to be a Kesha line, though. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Because that's definitely the vibe that I was getting from Sleazy. Yeah, he was gross. No. So thank goodness Dusty chimed in. Oh, uh, well. Ugh. Yeah. Lulu did really well. She did. For once. I have to give her props. Good job, Lulu. She stood up for Brooklyn, even yep. though they are not friends. And when she saw there had been some past connection, she still let the rest of the situation play out instead of making it all about her before questioning him. And I like yes. how she questioned him. Yes. She did it in the... Opened up the lines of communication. While not... teasing him about the nickname at right. the same time. Yes. It was a little passive aggressive <laughs> instead of just going for it. Yeah. Lulu was really good this week, I think. She was. Maybe they're changing the writing around her. I hope so. I really hope so. Because we love the character. Mm-hmm. Just they've been making her such a whiny. I did like when Brooklyn said, there are peanut shells on the floor, Lulu. Practice better (laughs) self-care. That was funny. That was funny. But yeah, I mean, that whole, the whole situation was, I really liked it. Yes. I I didn't like that it was happening, but I like where we're going with this. Yeah. Yeah. The writing around it, it felt very real. And Brooklyn tearing into Nell. Yes. Was perfection. Yes. And she I love great. that Tracy said Edward Edward would be proud yes. of her. Super nice. It was. Super sweet. She did. She did a good job. She stayed on topic mm-hmm. and hit her where it hurt. She didn't get off on all the petty stuff. Right. So. Absolutely. Good job, Brooklyn. Brooklyn and Lulu were mm-hmm. winning this week. For a second, I thought that Lulu and Willow were wearing the same shirt. Did you think that? Because they were both wearing like a light pink floral peasant topish. I did not notice that. Okay. Sorry. They're not, but I thought that they were. Didn't know. If anyone else was, let me know. Didn't know this. Yep. Hmm. I don't know where you want to go. There's, there's a lot going on. I took a ton of notes on Monday, and then I kind of stopped just because I was taking a ton of notes. So Monday would have been our boy is back. 
Yes. Yay. And Georgie, she's so cute. Should only be six and a half. How old do we think that girl was? Eight, nine? Eight? Oh, I, yeah, I would say eight. Okay. I don't think they pushed it too far. No. And she did a really good job of looking like Yassi yes. and Spinelli. old Georgie. But they, but she looks like a good like mix of, she looks yes. like she could be their kid. Yes. Do you good think job. they'll come back? I hope so. I hope Ellie comes back. <sighs> I'm torn with that because did you I not like still, Ellie? I really like Maxie with Spinelli. And knowing that Peter is a creep, it would be so cute if they could get back together. I'm sorry. I know but it's not Ellie and here. Spinelli are so cute. They're, mm, yeah, I like them. But I like him with Maxie better. See, I think Ellie's his soulmate. I don't know. They've been together a long time and they're still not married. She's raising his child. But what's the hold up there? I don't if know. you've been with someone for that long, there must be some red flags somewhere. Maybe that they just don't want to get married. Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell. Super successful Hollywood relationship. Never married. But in soap world, that doesn't happen. Everyone always gets married. Even if you're just going to turn around and get divorced less than 24 hours later, you still get married somewhere. Maybe they're changing the narrative off screen. I think that just they're leaving it open so that he can get back with Maxie. Mm. Eventually. Because Peter's a jerk. He wasn't for a really long time. But he is. It's just heartbreaking. It is. And Anna's being stupid. I was going to say Robert's on to her. Oh, yeah. You know. I feel bad for him because he doesn't want to betray her. But at the same time, she's being stupid. Him warning her, though. Yeah. I mean, it was not. I didn't take it as a friendly warning. I took it as, listen, stuff's going to go down. You're going to get hurt. I feel like he knew he needed to be a little tougher Mm because she's had plenty of time. It's not like she just found this out a day ago. She's been looking at the case files since before Christmas. And he knows how smart she is. Exactly. It's not like, oh, yeah, I totally believe that Anna didn't find that. Exactly. Maybe he doesn't know that she already talked to him and he admitted that he was working there and all of that stuff. Mm -hmm. But she's definitely seeing the lines that lead right to him. Yeah. Do you think that Jason and Sam are going to figure out a way to be able to bring him down? I feel like that would be the less lesser of all the evils. If they bring him down, it keeps Anna out of it. And it's nice and clean for them to be able to work with Robert to get whatever her parole stuff is cleaned up so they can be together. But how are they going to prove it? I don't know. that guy's dead. I'm sure there's a computer record somewhere that Spinelli can get into, especially now that he'll have more time because he'll be home, hopefully. Possibly. I don't see Robert doing it, and I don't see Anna doing it. So who else is going to bring him down? Yeah. I just think it's, I don't know, I just think it's weird. Don't you hate when you're listening to a great podcast and suddenly you're interrupted by an ad? I know. Thank goodness Stitcher lets us listen to our favorite podcasts like Conan O'Brien Needs a Friend, My Favorite Murder, and many more ad-free for only $4.99 a month or $34.99 a year. Go to Stitcher.com slash premium to sign up today. Use promo code PEER54 for one month free on us. I'm at it, Sam. Again. Trying to see him. Mm-hmm. And poor choices all over the place. But at least Jason is kind of saying no. Like right. this isn't. It's about the kids. You have to stay apart to keep the kids safe. I'm glad he's finally being a dad. For how long was he not? I'm glad he bonded with them while she was in jail and now sees you need to put them first. They've been through enough. They really have. You know, they don't, they don't need her going back because she broke parole. Right. Over yeah. something so stupid. Right. Again, they've been apart before. It would be nice if they could have them have supervised visits. Like, okay, let them have supervised dinners together with yes. the kids. So that way the kids... For family time. That should be right. written in there somewhere. I agree. But until then, she needs to follow the darn court order. And that's all there is to it. How about Willow's speech at the memorial? Oh, that was good. So good. That was really good. Totally. I mean, we knew Nell was her... Or yes. Nell was... Shiloh's wife, but there were still some people that did not know. I've joined a lot of different Facebook groups recently okay. and tried not to read spoilers, but to read the information pertaining to what we knew was happening this week or had seen it happen this week. And there were still some people on there that said, 
I did not think that was how this was going to play out. I'm impressed. So, wow. You see, I when you first said it to me, I was like, what? There was other people that were oh. a little slow to the pick up like me. I'm sorry. I thought it was obvious. When she said, I'm married and I'm going to come into a lot of money. I was like, oh, yeah, because you married Shiloh. And I did not see that anywhere. It was right, just. Right. No, we don't do so One, two, for two, that Nell married Shiloh and Brooklyn is going to be like Kesha. There you go. Boom. Good job. Thanks. I just said we don't do spoilers. I was waiting for you to yell at me. Because I spoiled something for Shannon. She sure did. (laughs) She sure (laughs) did. But it was a good spoil because you had just been talking again. Just don't do it. (laughs) Because then Friday was the longest day. (laughs) We had just had this conversation. You love Taggart so much. You want him to come back. You were trying to loop him into Aunt Stella or Trina or somewhere, anywhere. And, I mean, you were making up whole storylines just to bring him back no matter what. That didn't even necessarily Other go together. Other people were bringing up that Gia could have been, or that Trina could be Nicholas and Gia's daughter. daughter. And I was like, no. Yes. And then that would make Taggart her uncle. So we can just talk about Taggart now. I, we're not going to wait until Friday. <laughs> I it kind of segued in there. It really cause I, did. Because I spoiled it for you. But I saw the spoiler. Again, I was trying to avoid spoilers. But I saw the spoiler. And when I saw it, it just made me so happy for you. So. It made me happy. It, I still, <laughs> how they brought him back was great. Because unless you've been watching as long as we have. Because I honestly, I started to think about it. Because when he went and showed his badge, mm-hmm. you couldn't read it. Right? And couldn't see his face or anything, nope. obviously. I was like, I loved that. And I started to really think, I'm like, would I have known that was him if you hadn't told me? I think you would have. I think I would have. I think you would have. But now I don't know. Like, I just. Oh, I'm no, sorry. No, 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 no. <laughs> because he does have a slightly distinctive voice. But at the same time, would I have been like, oh, my God, it's Taggart? Or would I have just. I don't know that you would have known. Because he only said, what, two words to that lady and two words to Mike. Like, where's Mike Corbin, you know. Yeah. And I'm just a family friend. Here's my badge. And then, yeah. hey, Mike. And then they sat down. And you didn't see him see him until a little bit later when Sonny came in. And then Sonny said, Taggart, what are you doing? Yeah. I so, think I would have been able to when he said, hey, Mike. Because there was something in the way that he said it that okay. I feel like I would have picked okay. up on it. But I loved Sonny's response to him. Because... I mean, he just looked at him and like, it wasn't, it wasn't a typical, what we've now come to see Sonny do. That was very old Sonny. It was. Where he was very calm and cool. I was like, hey, Taggart. <laughs> so, yeah, this is going to be interesting. And he was Jordan's partner. Mm-hmm. Sorry. I love how excited <laughs> Now you see why I had to spoil it. Sorry, not sorry. I just okay. had to send it to you and be like, look, you were right. You're getting your wish. You're so excited. I was though. And I wrote, this is going to be so good. It is going to be so good. And I love the way that they're bringing the old storyline back and it's kind of making it all make sense. But I was also disappointed in Taggart that he would go to Mike. You know he has dementia. You're going to get information from him. Yeah, that's that's not a low. Yeah. Yeah. But we need to see where it's going. I'll, we need to see. He was only on the one day. I'll give him a few more days. But if he continues to behave like that, I'm going to be disappointed because that wasn't nice. Well, we are going to do an entire 411 about Taggart. We are. On Thursday. Thursday. So it's actually a good thing that you see spoiled it. So you're welcome. Because <laughs> we were getting ready to do a whole other 411 that we're just pushing back. And we're just not going to talk about right now because what if we don't wind up doing it? Right. Who knows when we say we're back. going to. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, we're gonna do a whole four one one. So if you have no idea who Taggart is, we're gonna do the research for you and fill you in, let you know because he and Sonny have a crazy history. Yes. Yeah. And it's he was that's a relationship I miss. Yeah. A thorn in Sonny's side Ooh, for sure. They're a thorn in each other's side though. Yeah. You know? How about great. Laura saying that she wants to revitalize the waterfront? Yes. First thing. Hold on. Let me flip to my notes. Laura wants to revitalize the waterfront. Isn't that what Ned ran on and everyone freaked out? And then I had to draw an arrow down to the bottom and a quarter means just reminded her. <laughs> yes. Because I was like, am I losing it? Wasn't that what we were fighting against? And now she's like, yeah, certain she businesses left it and said that their updating would have did all of it. Like, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> she wants to revitalize. Ned wanted 
gentrification. Right. Mm-hmm. And she's friends with Sunny. Mm-hmm. That has to be a conflict of interest. <laughs> did like Taggart. <laughs> Laura Spencer's mayor now? How did that happen? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's a very good looking man. I think. He is. He's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited when I see people that I remember being young and right? being excited about. Yes. It makes sense. That's, I liked him. I liked him. And I'm prepared to like him this time as long as Friday was an isolated incident. Or it has a really, 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 really good reason to go somewhere. True. Maybe it has nothing to do mm-hmm. with Sonny's business. I hope not. I guess my problem was he left there and went to Jordan and they started talking about the drug overdose and right. things being laced with stuff was kind of like where the storyline seemed like it was going. Yeah. And Sunny doesn't deal nope. in drugs. And so now you're trying to connect him to a drug something. You're just going to get information that you really shouldn't be seeking out. Yeah, from because Mike, Sunny has turned drug in stuff. drug people. Like, exactly. he does turn on them. So. so any information you get from Mike is not going to be drug related. It's going to be other crime related. And that's sketchy mm-hmm. to go to him. I feel like by now... The local law enforcement knows that Sonny really isn't into dealing drugs. Right. But anyway, I don't know why they keep looking at Sonny for drug stuff because he's not doing drug stuff. Yeah. I liked that this week we found out that there's definitely some other teens in Port Charles because Trina yes. and Cam went through their list of, what about this person? But I told you, person? what if she was trying to sabotage it so that they had to go together? And I do think that might have been what? I don't know that. She made him ask that other chick out. Probably because she knows she's going to say no. Oh, he would say no to Cameron. He's so cute. I don't know. I wouldn't say no to Cameron when I was that age. He's cute. He is, but I'm just saying, you know. I did like where he said his priorities. Soccer, video game, soccer. But he said he wasn't sensitive. Is that the word he used? I forget what it was. I don't think he didn't like the kid that he was saying. He was saying that he was... I don't remember. I don't know. She said... Something about he was caring or sensitive. I can't remember what word she used exactly. And that was when he replied, he's into soccer, video games, soccer. He said, well, I'm not caring either. All I care about is soccer, video games, and soccer. And that's not true. Pam. No. He's such a good, good friend. Trying to be a hard no. I did like that Carly put two and two together, and she was really. Yes. And she was supportive and telling Joss, you're going to have to figure out a way to love again. So, Someone on one of the Facebook groups brought up the question, why hasn't Robin came to talk to Jocelyn? She's friends with Sunny. And we talked about that after with, he died. Did That we? she should have. Okay. So why is that not? I mean, she never did. But why, especially well, now, is time Kimberly going McCullough on? retired no, from acting. No, I don't want to hear that. I covered my ears. I didn't hear it. Yeah. No. No one knew until she announced it on Instagram. So 2019, I blah, 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 retired from acting, blah, 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 blah. And we're all like, what? Yeah. No goodbye? I don't think retired is an appropriate word because I think she still needs to give little cameo appearances on G. And I don't think the fact that she's been Robin since she was like five counts as retiring from acting. Right. She's still Robin. I'm sorry. Yes. I know that we we distinguish between actor and character. Yes. But that doesn't count. No. She is Robin forever. She's done a lot of producing and stuff. So I understand her time is somewhere else. And good for her. But I feel like she should still do little drop-ins. And this is one that she should do. Yeah. She's bringing Emma back to meet uh, Violet. And while she's there, <gasps> yes. she stops over to say hi to Sunny. And somebody says something about Jocelyn struggling with Oscar and moving on. And she can sit down and have a really nice heartfelt conversation. Mm-hmm. And then turn around and go. Well, speaking of where are they, uh Christina. Yeah. I mean... We saw her once. It's like when Sam got into the Shiloh storyline, Christina just went away. Mm-hmm. Which, that's not fair. That was a really good storyline for was. her to be. Lexi Ainsworth's awesome. And Julian still has the bar. She's not bartending there. Where is she's she? She's a manager. Man? That's the thing. I know, but that's what I mean. Where she's not is she bartending. At? She's a manager there. Right. So, I don't know. We're only there during the day now, and she works night shifts? I don't know. It's crazy. I don't know. And during the whole time that Jason had to take care of the kids because Sam was in jail, I feel like she would have been living there helping him. Right. That didn't make any sense. No. So, crazy. Oh, Nicholas is going to France because France calls everything. Well, that's where his son is. It I is. did like Lulu tearing into him, too, because yes. that was good. That was And it was good. very 
you did this to mom. Yeah, mm-hmm. I was upset too, but you did this I to know, mom. I know, and she brought up mom's mental health issues, and yep. I was like, yes, exactly. Yep. Mm-hmm. And I can't believe you did this to Spencer, and right. you better be praying that he's okay with you. And yeah. Thank you for changing how you're writing Lulu. If you could keep it up. Exactly. Thanks, two did. thumbs up from Shannon right now. Yeah, she rocked it this week. So it was like old Lulu. It she was. was like mm-hmm. Lulu is feisty. Eat. Feisty. There yeah. you go. And she is she is a powerful she's a powerhouse and she's yeah. feisty. But she's not selfish. No. She's not supposed to be right. selfish. Right. Yes. Lulu had a lot of drama Mm -hmm. and some of it was self choices that were dramatic. Yeah. But she was never whiny. Exactly. We all make poor choices. Yes. All make poor choices and get wrapped up in that. But on the flip side, you're still concerned about other people and still not totally oblivious to the rest of the world. And it feels like for this past year, it's just been me, 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 me. Ever since. Bob Charlotte Pitt. came, I really think. Oh, yeah. I Honestly, I really think because that I was all. I guess it did start before Dante left. And yeah. I mean, and that's a hard one to wrap your head around. I mean, how do you even but comprehend adjusted, the fact that you had a child without knowing? But she seemed to have adjusted, adjusted to that part well and then just made the whole rest of her life like she couldn't, couldn't care about anyone else. Yeah. And so I'm glad that she mentioned everyone else. Yes. So. This is a random note, but okay. it really doesn't, it ha- it pertains to General Hospital because it was a General Hospital thing, but on a you and me level, I really liked that Carly's reason for why she couldn't let Nell drive her crazy was the same as ours. She was like, I just don't have time for this. There's yes. too much stuff yep. going on. I cannot let her drive me crazy. Like we already know that this is going to be a thing, so yes. let's just prepare for the wave and <laughs> I, go up and, and over it. I was like, Shannon and I say that all the time. I don't have time to go crazy today. There's too much stuff going yep. on. Yep. It was cute. Mine's completely random also. Okay. Chase has to have a new partner because there's a Phillies mug on the other desk. Ooh. Uh, because Val was a Yankees fan, right? Because mm-hmm. that's where she and Dante bonded. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> so now there's a Phillies coffee mug oh. on the other desk. Good. Bring some more cops in. Or bring back Val, but appropriately, like, uh, correctly. I don't want to say appropriately. Correctly. You know, we really use the word appropriate. Appropriate. Inappropriately, <laughs> a lot. But yeah, I mean, where did Val go? No, they never announced. She's in the black hole, working on a secret case. She has a family issue. She has blah blah blah. Or is Neil leaving? I wonder if they could. What's going on here? Wait, I wonder if they okay. could link Trina to Val somehow. Take it in a whole different direction. Huh? Val's a Spencer, because she couldn't be Val, right? No, Val's not. I don't think Val's old enough, unless she had her 10. Really, really, really young. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. Hmm. I'm good with having her follow in the Taggart line, although I know that there is a whole... Mm-hmm. Lots of people feel very strongly about that. So, other... I don't know. I don't know. I just thought, like, maybe that's why she's gone. Yeah. Is because she's doing something else. But then tell us. We at least know and Dante then... was off doing blah, 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 and then now he's... Right. Well, you like, know. Stella has been gone. Right. Because she was in England, I thought maybe Val needed to go somewhere to do some other piece of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. And when she came back, it was somehow going to uh, fit. Oh, okay. That's why I was... She's been gone longer. Too, than, yeah. No. So, I'm sorry. No, no. She's been gone for so it long. It just kind of popped in my head, and I was like, well, maybe. No. But no. Okay, that's fine. But then they, it's even more reason they need to bring her back. She's obviously not gone for any reason. Just right. bring her back. But then... I wrote, hey, Neil's back. And then I wrote, um, bye, Neil? Right. And well, and then I was going to say this back when we were talking about follow the court order. And I'm like, speaking of which, yes. He didn't really read. It wasn't the a court order. Reading, but he didn't really read the professional whatever. He just skimmed it. What? I feel like that is something that you are told at length. Because I know, at least from my experience with the in-home staff and any staff that we've had Mm -hmm. it is a six month so if my daughter's therapist was reassigned to another case okay we had to wait six months or no maybe it was i think it was two years actually now that i think about it because the one quit 
the industry. And I said, do we still have to wait? And she goes, no, because oh, okay. I'm not, she's like, I'm not even going to another organization. I'm not even going to. Yeah. But then I have a friend of mine who actually, we became friends before I knew she worked at my daughter's school. Mm. And I was like, is this a conflict for us to be, but she had nothing to do with my daughter. I oh. mean, nowhere, not even the same age group or anything. Okay. And she was always working with younger. Yeah. So, I mean, it was absolutely not, but right. No, I knew they had have rules. been. Yeah. But I mean, we know a kid, we knew a kid through church who wound up getting a job at her school. You know, obviously we already have an established relationship outside of it. A girl that I went to high school with works there now. Yeah. We have a relationship, you know, but for us to start a friendship and then Got even it. a friendship, you know, yeah. it's no, have to wait. Right. I, and I actually do think that it might've been two years. For some reason, six months was sticking in my head, but I actually think it might've been two years. No matter what the time frame was, you know that that's not the first time that he's ever heard that. It's and not like he got his license yesterday. Right. Ridiculous. And they're so flashy about it. It's one thing if you, not that you should ever break the rules, but if you're going to break the rules, oh, we're having quiet dinners at home and text conversations, but these people are out and about in regular life. But are they really? This? Like they said, one and a it half was date. One and a half dates. It was one kiss. But where was the date at? Drag queen bingo. Which is out in? Public. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Bye. Yes. But it's not like they're. I mean, I agree that it shouldn't be. And, and now she's going to represent him. You know that somewhere, someone's just trying to mess with them. Is why this is even. Ooh, being who's it going to be? Polite. I don't know. Mm. But there's a reason. Someone's messing with them. Mm-hmm. To have brought it up. So we're going to get another therapist. There you go. We need more police, more therapists. I really don't have anything else. I think we pretty much. Um, no threatening Willow. Oh Being yeah. Why leave Manny could be bad for your health. Dun dun dun. Oh. You know what else I realized? But Willow telling, oh she, Brad. She went off. But telling Brad that Nell plans to take the baby. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I hope he does something. It occurred to me though, and maybe we've talked about it here or there, but I don't think I have because I don't think my brain's ever gone there. I want this to all come out, but at the same time, I don't want it to come out because if Nell is considered being normal now, that means she's going to have to co-parent with Michael. There were quotes around the normal. Yeah. Sorry. Air quote. Air quote normal. We're going to have to co-parent. I don't think she's going to, because I think that how it's probably going to come out is going to wind up being something vicious from now. Okay. I hope so, because we just need to get rid of her. I love the drama that she brings, but we can't keep messing with... Yeah, I hope that they have to knock her off or she has to leave for some reason. I don't know what. But something bad has to happen for her to be gone because she can't just keep hanging around poor Charles and interfere with Michael's life. Well, what did he say? Like, she's not even been out a day and she's already thrown Oh, she's, family. And I'm like, oh, dude, just wait. She threatened how many people? Brooklyn was like, go ahead, assault me. I love that. <laughs> it was. <clears throat> and then Willow... Is that a parole violation? And Willow was like, you're threatening a uh, officer's girlfriend. So it's not going to take her That's long to so get much so in trouble. That's so much so doesn't count. Exactly. I mean, it's, <gasps> we didn't talk about Brooklyn hitting Chase on the oh. head with the bottle. Hit the look on his face. <laughs> I mean, it did get straightened out. But yes. He was nice to not press charges. I did like that he said, I can't play favorites. So I hope Lulu. that they don't. We are all over the We place. are. I hope they don't start a romance between him and Brooklyn, though. And no. Uh, Try to push Willow with Michael. No. I don't want to see that happen. No, because she and Chase, Willow and Chase are good. They are. They're so cute. They are. We can have one couple that doesn't, they've already had enough drama and he's going to be there for her when Ugh. all of this comes out. Ugh, it's going to be awful. It's going to be horrible. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. Ugh. Was that everything then? I think. Sunny and Carly seemed okay this week. We always forget to yeah. mention them. They were good. Taking Mike on that trip, but really no information on that until no. it happened. Mm, yeah, I can't think of anything else. Neither can I. And I mean, it's five hours of shows that we recap into 30 minutes. Yeah. We're going to miss something. Oh, sure. Yeah. It's time for... Do-do-do! Reality check. I know it has to be your turn to go first. It has to be. It might be. I don't know. I thought you were going to start keeping track of that. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't happen? No. Okay. 
So my reality check is really, really fun because it happened today, Saturday, the day we're recording. So I remembered we had my daughter's red carpet this morning. Which um, is so awesome. So she attends the Joey Travolta film camp. And yes, Travolta, as in John Travolta's brother, mm-hmm. Joey. Although the kids in camp, John is Joey's brother. Oh, cute. Yes. And there's an actor, Barry Pearl, who played the greaser duty in the movie. So my daughter just says his name like it just rolls off the tongue how we would say Brad Pitt or George Clooney or something like that. It's, <laughs> and I work with Barry Pearl, you know, from Greece. And so no one cute. knows. I mean, a lot of people don't know Jeff Conway's name, you know, and right. he was Kanicki. It's John Travolta, Olivia Newton-John. But yeah. these kids, for two weeks over the summer, and Joey actually comes to the camp for two weeks over the summer. It's one of five camps. I think there's three in California, one in Pittsburgh and one in New Jersey. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's he has a film company called Inclusion Films. You can go to the website, inclusionfilms.com. This is not a paid advertisement. It is just awesome. And he was actually a special education teacher. And so that's how, and then, you know, obviously his family's involved in Hollywood. And so he put together this film camp and the kids work all day on their films. And at the end of two weeks, they're done. They write, they produce, they write the script, they act, they do everything. And it's, it's great. But then in January, we rent out a whole movie theater and they get a limo that the kids get to sit in and they walk down a red carpet and each classroom, so there's four classrooms. Each classroom has their own theater oh, nice. that we get to fill with our friends and family to watch. And we watch all of the projects, but it was nice because last year's theme was, so you think you can make a movie? So even though her classroom did this one and this classroom did this one and this classroom did this one, they edit it as though it was, so you think you can dance, but so you think you can make oh, a movie. And it was, awesome. so we're going to watch film number one. And so they really, they put them all together into one film, even though it's three short films. So it's, and they film their own commercials. That's adorable. It's great. We've had people that we've just made friends with, you know, out of state. And so we get to see them and everything. So it's, it's fun. And that's my reality check. That's a good one. It is. We should have had you go last for once because mine's not anything exciting. Yeah, we did nothing this week. Yay. Madeline was sick. Exactly. Madeline was sick last Aww. weekend at her dad's, so she came home and shared it with me and Megan for this week. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I was dying all weekend, and, or all week. That was me two weeks ago, so you're yeah. fine. <clears throat> I, I died all week, and then... You're alive! It's a soap opera miracle. Yes, miracles. exactly. I've come back to life, and so is everyone else. Knock on wood, no one in my household is at this moment sick. And I really cannot think of anything else. Like nothing. That's okay. That's, that's yeah, I guess whatever. But yeah, that was it. They Sometimes go. slow weeks are good weeks. Yeah. yeah. So but yeah, so join us on Thursday when we talk about Taggart. Taggart. I can't wait. Me too. And we already know that we're gonna be watching a lot of YouTube. Yes. Yeah, there's not so a lot out there. Written about him now. Mm mm. So but, but you love YouTube time, so I do. You'll be happy. Yep. And you've already announced that you think he's very handsome, so it won't really be homework for you. Nope. I'll be good. <laughs> exactly. So have a good week. And we'll meet you at the pier. Bye. Bye. I love you. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to go to pier54podcast.com to subscribe on your favorite platform. Don't forget to leave us a review. And you can also follow us on many social media channels. Just search for Pier 54 Podcast. Also, we are not perfect, so if there is something that we missed or messed up, just let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com. 